name is Erin Mitchell and I'm a collage or interdisciplinary artist. I have always drawn and been interested in art and being very imaginative. Uh, I remember being little and just wanting to make a whole bunch of things because I saw my dad making things around the house. So that got me interested in like playing with different materials and finding things that I could like tear up or like put together and paint on. And my great grandmother was a big influence to me growing up. She quilted, she painted, she cooked, she made everything. And she was always so excited to like show me things that she was making. As far as just artistically, um, I look at artists like Kara James Marshall, um, Micheline Thomas, Jacob Lawrence, and most recently, Chris Ophelia. Their abstractions, how they uh, present the body, their narratives of uh, black people in general, I think I find a lot of inspiration from all of those artists. I was just doing paint for the longest because it's like the cheapest thing. But I'd always used like some type of fiber, like in college I was in fiber materials and I did screen printing and that. And so I really missed that aspect and I love fabric because there's so many different things you can get from fabric. Like people have different memories and it makes them think of times and places. I like that added element and collaging and cutting, it also ties into some family element. My grandmother is quilting, just Southern tradition in itself, quilting and what quilting stands for, especially in the black community. Playing around with fabric and then adding objects like hair pieces, barrettes, um, gems and jewels. I like to have layers to the work because the ideas that I have are really layered. Overall, just thinking of the work that I did kind of in college and even in high school, it was always based on like my narrative of like how I see the world as a black woman and growing up, changing my hair and the, you know, how others perceive me or how I want to be perceived. That's always been filtered through my work. It's just gotten even more in depth. I use myself because I know myself the most and I know like my vulnerabilities. I know where I feel less important or where I can channel and bring forth these ideas that are universal. There are multiple perspectives of the same type of story that I go through, everyone goes through, and everyone deserves to be heard. I think my work is even more important than what I thought it was and what I thought it can be. And I appreciate that, you know, my voice is being heard and a lot of people come to me and say that they're, you know, really impressed and happy to have found my work and things of that nature. So that makes me feel like what I'm doing is valuable and it's not just kind of like this narcissistic type of thing. The most fulfilling thing that I've done in my artistic career was to quit my job and pursue an artistic career more full time. When I decided this, I was uh, working for the Chicago Public School System as an art teacher and what I thought was going to be, you know, more financially stable and just, you know, stable in general and be something that was art related. It turned out not to be so much. <laughs> and so I was like, well, if I'm in a situation where this job's not even stable, then why don't I do what I really want to do? At that moment, it was just kind of like, okay, well, here we go. Since I took that leap of faith, all of these things have just kind of presented themselves and I think it's definitely because I've been working and I've been manifesting these things. This is what I took the leap of faith for. I've built and like have a representation with a gallery in New York who's working with me. Something that had no idea would come from it. Wasn't looking for it, but it just came to me. Dr. Davis's commissioned piece, which was amazing. I was ecstatic to have the opportunity to provide an image of her and something that had like a lot of meaning. Dr. Davis being from Birmingham herself and then me coming home to Birmingham and uh, us both being black women. It's definitely taking on a new meaning to be making the work that I make in Alabama versus anywhere else. 
I wasn't expecting good or bad. I didn't know what to really expect. But in the time that I've been here, I've done so much and I couldn't imagine like, I was like, why didn't I come back sooner? Being here is more impactful than me being an artist from Alabama in Chicago or in New York or in LA or wherever I would be. My greatest challenge as an artist is to believe that I can do it and keep working. It's so difficult to keep working when a lot of people will tell you that. Artists don't get paid. You can look around and be like, I maybe I should do something else. But if I did that, then I wouldn't be happy. Like I wouldn't be as fulfilled as I am. There's gonna be times where you wanna give up. There's gonna be times when you're tired, but you have to keep working. And even if it's in like smallest way of work, just that bit can take you to the next level. Your work is important, your voice is important, and someone out there also understands what you're doing and what you're trying to say. So put it out there. Like, even if it's not perfect, put it out there.